Halloween is in the air. Hey guys, welcome back to Morris Manor, and today I have an extra special reviews from the crypt. And today's episode of Reviews from the Crypt, I will be reviewing my Target 2016 Rise from the Grave Reaper. I'm not positive which year this came out. I believe probably 2011, but I'm not sure if I'm wrong. You can correct me in the comments. And one thing I would like to say really quickly is to that fish guy, I promised him over the weekend I would make an evil scientist video, and I keep forgetting about that, so sorry. Um, I have like 10 other... 10,000 other things to do in the haunted house, and I need to get him out of the haunted house and uh, get him into a better lighting area, so sorry that keeps escaping my mind, but I will try to do that as soon as possible. Anyway, so I'm here today with this review, so let's get into the review. First of all, on face detail, he has, um, the pr one problem is he has kind of a glossy face, and I've heard that the Rise from the Grave Ghoul has that too. I'll probably be getting him for Christmas, so uh, I'll see whether that's true or not. I'm assuming it is, but um, so yeah, he has kind of a glossy face. It's not a huge deal, but I mean, you know, doesn't look very much like a skull if it's glossy. Um, his he actually does have a full skull. If you if you were to feel back here, there's actually more head. It's just kind of you can just easily tell that it's styrofoam. That's not a huge deal though. It's covered up with a hood and everything. It's not like people are going to be messing with your animatronics in a haunt, so it's okay. The hands are just basically mittens with some skull things printed on them, which I don't have a huge problem with, but, you know, I would have rather skeleton hands, but, you know, $20, 25 I guess, is an okay price. I was kind of surprised at what I was actually getting for $20, so that's okay. The shoulders are actually completely adjustable, so I, um, you can, like, bend them however you want. You could have them super high up if you want. That looks really awful, but you could if you wanted. Um, but yeah, the shoulders are completely adjustable, so that makes it... Uh, that's one other cool feature about them. And the rest is just basically a cloth. Um, it does have a couple of... Hold on, I need to show you guys something. Hook and loop fasteners. Sorry, <laughs> I needed to say that. It, it had to come out at some point. Um, here and on the module, but I will be lifting those up so you guys can kind of see what's underneath. So basically, I'm, I guess I'll just pull the cloth over the head. Uh, if you've ever had a Rise from the Grave prop before, it's really it's the same as that, and about, and I'm guessing John Doe has this too. I'm probably going to end up getting him at some point. Um, so yeah, basically just a standard rising techie module. It has the foot back here, and I did have the foot removal key, but I have no idea what happened to it. Um, so yeah, it has a couple of, like, warnings and stuff. There's the speaker right there, and there's the place for the try me button, and basically what that does is if you plug it in, then it just makes the sound and doesn't rise up at all. There are the switches. You can turn it to, I suggest to turn it to off when you don't use it. Turn it to demo to have the try me, and then turn it to on when you are going to be using it, but I'm not going to do that right now. And yeah, that's basically the whole module, so that's pretty cool. Alright guys, so I basically told you everything about him, let's see him in action. Uh, just to be, just telling you though, I'm going to take off one point for the uh, glossy skull, so there's one point taken off right there. Now, let's see him in action. Ready? And... go ahead and show you a quick side view of this thing just because I wanted to point out one thing that it will be taking off another point for and that is that something that goes with every single um, rising jumping lurching lunging prop almost I guess prop that techie has ever made and that it 
is that it jumps kind of too far and yeah that's a little bit of a problem for me because you have to like put some kind of weight on the back foot such as a brick or a bag of sand but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about and let's see if you have never had a techie uh, rising, jumping, lurching, yada 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 prop before then you might not know that but See, it bothers me when it does that, so I'm going to have to take off another point for that. But let's see how it looks when I have, like, a brick over there. Alright, so I just got this brick. Let's go ahead and put it on his foot and see how much better he looks with that. Oh, I want to put it under, this, under the wall. Uh, But see just how much sturdier that makes him, though, like right there when you do that. I'm going to show you guys another quick look at him. That looks so much better when it has that there. So that's a quick t uh, tip that you're going to want to use. So overall, guys, there's not a lot I can take off for this. I mean, if it were, um, like, a $40 item, like right from the Grave Ghoul is, and had all those defects and um bad yeah just kind of stuff like that which i'm sure rise from the grave ghoul does have pretty much everything he does however um he was 25 dollars and so i can't complain about a lot of that too much because the price was fantastic for him um so definitely not taking off anything for the price i would have expected at least 30 to 35 for him if spirit was selling him probably I would say 40, 45. So great prop overall. I'm going to go ahead and give it 8 out of 10 spirits. Just because he's a great prop. I love him, and I say that every time I know. He's a great prop, though. He really is. Um, highly suggest to use him in your haunt. I'm using him in the cemetery with some fog, like, blowing around. It it'll, it'll actually looks really cool. I'll probably take some pictures of it next time I have it up. But yeah, guys, so that's basically my reviews from the crypt. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I will see you later. Remember, Halloween is in the air. And happy hauntings. Thanks for watching, guys. And I've been, just one more thing I wanted to say. I've been trying hard to make videos every day of October. And this is kind of getting hard. So um, don't be surprised if I miss like one or two days here or there. But I'm really trying to uh, make videos every day. So, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I will see you later. Again, remember Halloween's in the air, and happy hauntings. Bye.